Jay, welcome. Good to see you again. So, you know, the Billings outlook challenged by the macro. And at the same time, you know, I was just talking to uh, Bipul Sinha over at Rubric, uh, reminding me that economic downturns tend to see a spike in hacking activity. How does 23 really look overall? So <clears throat> there has been a significant increase in hacking and cybersecurity attacks. We recently released a report uh, for 2022. The number of attacks in various categories uh, have gone up over 40%. Now, hacking is uh, impacting many areas. In fact, one of the biggest ones recently we're seeing is holiday shopping that's actually impacting consumers as well. But on the enterprise front, our customers are telling us that cyber remains the number one priority. We aren't seeing or hearing from any customers where they are reducing the cybersecurity budget. And with Zscaler, which is not just doing cybersecurity, it's also helping reduce cost and complexity. So I feel very good and bullish about our business opportunity. So is 2023 going to be a consolidation year for cybersecurity in particular? I mean, we could talk about enterprise software overall, but are the stronger players, and we could include Zscaler in with that group, going to buy more struggling players um, with good technology? Yes, customers are tired of lots of point products. Uh, so consolidation is going to happen more and more, but it's more than consolidation of cybersecurity products. Zscaler actually streams lines, uh, networks, sec network, uh, networks uh, products, security products. So it simplifies, it improves user experience, reduces cost, and improves cyber posture. So combination of all those things with a true zero trust architecture that's built for uh, the world of cloud is really what's helping us uh, contrast with some of the legacy firewall security vendors. You can go on a buying spree and buy 10, 10 products or 10 companies and say, I'm the platform provider. That really doesn't make it a platform. A platform means integration of point products in a meaningful fashion. That's what we built. We are like a switchboard that connects any user to any applications without being on the network hence eliminating lateral threat movement. So that's really why we think our business will be strong in 2022. Sorry, 2023. Hey, in 23, yeah, I know. We're, we're all going to be writing 22 on our checks. Uh, Jay, I wonder how you would characterize the frequency of cyber breaches lately. Um, do you think they're getting uh, fewer and, and farther between? And at this point, would a, would a resurgence in activity, in breaches, I mean, be positive for, for budgets? Or at this point, do companies feel they've spent what they're going to spend, period? I think every CIO and CISO understand that cyber is a big risk. I do not think we need one more solar wind to convince the management that they need to spend more. We are seeing uh, strong interest from the board level, CEO level, CIO level to beef up cybersecurity. And the root cause of cybersecurity also lies in having a network architecture that's kind of traditional where things move on the lateral side. By, by changing the network and security together is how Zero Trust achieves better security, and that's what we do. And that's what sets us apart from traditional network security vendors. And our customers have seen significant savings from us. That's why over 40% of the customers trust Zscaler to protect them in this new world of cloud and mobile world.